Welcome to this series where we are building up a transport empire in Transport Fever 2. In the last part, we advanced the date to 1900 in order to get some extra vehicles, mainly improve rolling stock for the trains. And we also built this tool manufacturing line here, which was effectively the logging and the sawmill. And then I enhanced it by placing a placeable industry here in the form of the the tool production area here. I think it's going to work very well because this is going to produce enough tools to keep Wooler going, especially as the fact we've got another tool production area going up here, which eventually I will improve. So what is possible is this could be our entire tool production for the majority of the map. And as I say, Wooler is now getting pretty close to the number of tools that it needs. Over here in Normanton, I had a little bit of a glitch. We were bringing in quite a lot of tools, but you can see it's a bit short. And the reason I found out for that is that this area here wasn't really covering the whole commercial area that was down here because the commercial area is growing down this way. So what I've actually done is put this extra depot in and the route that's running down from here is now dropping off here. But the extra tools that are in here are coming from the, the waste production using this tool factory here which is supplementing the process. So things are going fairly well. Now, before I advance the date to 1920, which is when the, the mod, it will add extra demands to the larger cities. I want to do two things. One I'm going to do in this video and the second I'll be doing in the next video. And the first, what, what, so what I want to be doing in this video is creating a machine production area here. And this is a little bit of a natural from one perspective but there's no sawmill. So what we got is we got coal here, steel mill here, iron here, a machine factory and logging, but we don't have a sawmill. And this is one of the problems with this map. And also, I think it's also a problem related to using the increased demands uh, mods that I'm using, that you don't get anything close to what you can work with, with some of the industry placement, especially once the demands start to get high. But the way I'm looking at it is that this is just emulating what happens in real life that back in the 1850s industry was very much clustered around a natural resource and served its local community but as the, the date moved forward into the 1950s 1960s and certainly into the 2000s where you've now got supply on demand structures what happens is the factories are being built in ideal locations not just from the point of view of production but from the point of view of having production centers. So I think I can justify placing the industries on that argument because we are now in 1900. Anyway, I don't want to waffle on too long. Now we've got uh, South End on Sea needs machines and so does um, Bovi Tracy. So we've got some two cities that will grow, benefit from having the machines in this area. And what I want to do is kind of get build this up to a really high level steel mill feeding this machine room here. I think we can start with the coal supply. In fact, let's start with putting in here, because what I'm thinking is to have a station running out this way. So we're going to put a road in like that. And maybe we'll just have the app running like that. Then what I'm going to do is put a train station in here I think we're gonna go with 240s and we're gonna have a through goods station here I'm gonna put one platform in for the moment because I've, I've got an idea I want to try out I've got absolutely no idea if it's gonna work but what I want to do is maybe a bit more of an angle because we're gonna to have to go through that gap there and I'm thinking is if we, if we can come in here, we're only ever going to have a single line here. And that's virtually pointing straight as an arrow at that there. And what I want to do is build a, a track straight across like that to here. And then I'm going to double track it, but I'm going to double track it in the sense that we're going to have a 
double track line running like this. This means that we can have two tra coal trains running on this if I want to really min-max the performance. Okay, we're going to get you here and then you can just blend into here like that. So we've got this line here running. I suppose I better put some signals down as well. So, now I'll just put you there. I'm not going to put anything in the center for the moment because. Oops, no. we've got a line there. And then what that means, I can run the line through to the south end on C. And that leaves a gap here so that when I want to run something down to here, in fact, we, I need to plan for the light route to Alphine on C. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put uh, another platform there like that. Then we're going to double up the tracks on this side like this. That means there's a platform for this track, platform for that track and we will then have the capability to ship machines to south end on sea that's that first line there i think what we're going to do is we're going to have the the uh what we call it the train depot my brain faded a little bit there uh, i'm just going to spin that round and we're going to have the, the train depot in about here Have you running onto that line and you run it. Oops. You're running out. Does this not? And have you connected up to there. And we want to get the coal train running. So it's going to take a little while for. Now it's not a very long line, so we don't really need a. And I can't remember what's the maximum speed for these, 80 kilometers an hour. But I can't see these trains ever getting up to 80 kilometers an hour. But then again, I suppose I could use the mogul. And then we're cargo. Go... Okay, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. I think that would be enough to get started. And I haven't laid a line in, have I? Oops. And we're going to create a line from there to there. Train cargo. And um, we'll call you Ponty Fract Coal. And then what we're going to do is get you. Running on Pontefract coal, get you underway. Although there won't be that much demand. Now, what I want to do is have a dedicated line running down to here to deliver the iron ore. Because I want that separate from the line that will run out here and go through to Bovey Tracy. So, what we need to do is we take a road out here. Um, we'll just dip you around like that. I need to lay in a station here. So if I bring you across like that, and then zip you up like that. Mm -hmm you to there. I can then take out this bit of road here. And I'm just gonna put we'll put a terminus station in here. This could be a transfer point. Actually I wouldn't mind could I get this If 
I connect this road up through here, like that, all that, it is just take this road out completely for a moment. What I'm trying to do is plan a little bit ahead to see if I can get this as a, a transfer point. And maybe we can take out that little bit right there. And then yeah, we can get that like that. And then we'll just take out that little bit of road there. And we'll bring the road. Like that. And again, we're just going to put in a right, terminus here. I want to aim it just for that. We aim it for about there. like that and we'd curve round about like that and then run straight down into there like that again we're oops <laughs> so I've got a tunnel by accident took more money than I know what to do with again we're just going to double track this line you to about there and then you into there and hook you and you will you hook into there yep yeah, great so we've now got that line there okay we're just gonna signal it up whoops is it right way round Okay, we're just going to put signals at each end for the moment. Now I need a lot ability to put a train through to here so that I don't have depots all over the place. So I think if we can, and this line doesn't have to be absolutely min max, this can just be kind of a, a link line through here. This is the upline, isn't it? Here. Yeah. And now we've got that there. And that should allow me to buy another train here. Buy the Mogul Cargo Oscar. Two, three, four, five, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, by, and of course I haven't created the line again. Not doing very well here today. I'm just going to, from here to here, train cargo, lower the iron, iron ore. Should be able to do then is connect this up to yeah. oh, when that came down I thought very briefly then that I was going to it was going to tell me that I couldn't actually get a train up onto that line here we're getting good there so we're going to start producing the steel so I think the next step is to in one of these how far away can I get this I want the truck distance to be as short as possible but here I want this to be able to engage with this area here because to start with the trucks will take the steel to here and then bring back the machines here 
send go to South End on SE. Of course, we're going to need a truck depot as well. You can just sneak in there. And this time, I actually am going to remember to build the line. And uh, I call it Lee. steel and machines there and then we're just gonna get oops, into here must buy about start with about eight of these and we're gonna put you on the steel of machines what that should do is when the iron starts flowing into here, this these will then create the demand to go up to here. And so what we need to do now is work on the second part of the production line. And what I'm thinking is I'd like to get maximum revenue from this. So if I put the we need a sawmill. If I put the sawmill. The sawmill, tuck the sawmill in here. Actually, let's rotate that around that way because we're going to use a train line to do it. One thing I have found is you can't connect these directly to the ro the road, so what you've got to do is put them a little bit away. It's going to cost us 20 million. <laughs> Not a problem. And then what we're going to do is put a little bit of a road like that and we're going to bring the somehow we've got to get this connected as well we can come around like that and then what we're going to do is put a terminus station here 240 or 160 I think 240 is going to be ha, absolutely awesomely long. I think we're probably just about to build the shortest rail link in, in the game. Uh, I think 160 will be more than enough, to be honest. Then, then we're going to just push you. I think we need a double platform here and you can up there so what we'll have is a log run here then we'll have a 160 here and what I want to do is run all the way down to here and what we're going to put into here is there anything I can take advantage of here? No, I think I'd overcomplicate this if I tried to put a terminal to go up to there. I mean, if, if this grows up and say Leon C develops a demand for machines, we'll just put a third terminal going that way. And I think I can put this up about there. The... Oh, we've got a tunnel again. Never mind. I think we're going to be building a lot of tunnels in this game. I'm just going to have to curve around the dip of there. Lose a little bit of speed here. But I don't think it's going to really make that much difference, to be honest. And then what I want to do is run you into there and then we're gonna it's a bit of a dog leg isn't it don't like that let's take you off and just run you straight into about here that would be better okay. one platform and if we 
that actually connected? And can we tap that a little bit? Yeah, I think that will work. And you can run here. And you can pop is merge. Thank you. And then come back to here. And we'll just run this line. Didn't really need two platforms here, did I? So then we're gonna have to put a crossover here. don't need a crossover here because what we can do is run one train up into here so we can put one there like that and what I've got to do now is find some way to connect these two lines together wow how am I going to get off this embankment that's the upline so if we come off here like that and then run you out here and then run you up onto this area here like that that will allow me to connect up that area there and then we'll just put a we'll start there we can come back to here and then run through to there Train cargo. I think we'll call this Bovi logs and planks. And again, we're just going to hook into this area here. Steam and this. It's never going to get up to enough speed to justify. As far as I know, we just need flat cars here. Yeah, logs and planks. And yeah, whoops, I only want one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, we'll just start with that. I mean, we could always adjust them later on. Thanks. So that's the production aspect sorted out. Now what we need to do now is think a little bit about how we're going to connect up both V Tracy here. I mean, there's a possibility that eventually we will need to bring uh, machines through to Dawlish. Actually, just suddenly thought if we got a line there, we could actually bring the train line through here. Also, got a goods factory here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come here. Actually, let's go for any. What we're going to do is push right out here a long way. Might even go out further than that. We've got a mountain there. Come here. Got a two way, two forty meter. I need two forty. In that gap is there. If we put it about there, now comes the fun bit. Well, they say go big or go home. I think that 
Let's. I'm going to run you through to here. Running you through to here. And I want you to be far enough away from this station so that you don't have a problem with blockage. And then you connected into that. Yeah, looks like it's connected. run off this way Ooh. and it's gonna run all the way through here this is gonna be an expensive line it's gonna take quite a lot to get this profitable especially as the fact that this will only be running goods in one direction it's gonna be a little bit unfortunate I have to try and find a way to Make this profitable in two directions. Yeah. At the moment, it's all about getting uh, uh, what we call it here, Bovie Tracy growing. And to that end, we're going to need to put in a, a cargo. Uh, of course, the machines have got to be down here, haven't they? I think if we we put this in about here because if the machines grow they're going to grow this way aren't they if we put this in here and we create a line oops no why did i put that in here i think i'll leave that because we may we may be able to use it as a mail center because let's just have a quick look Yeah, I mean, we've got, no, it's, this is, oh, this could be a waste collection center. So I think that will work. And we're, let's put you up here. We have plenty of space to grow. I think I'll go as far as putting you up right opposite the station there. And we'll just put you there and bring you down to there. It's actually followed a reasonable line through the city, I think. Let's just have a quick look. Yep. And where's my depot? That's a tram depot. Here's the truck depot. And we're gonna, perhaps I'm not even the line either. So, I've got about eight of you on here. What we're looking for is the line that isn't named. There is line one. manager line one and we'll call you Bovi yes yeah Bovi machines we got this line running through to here it's gonna be we got any production starting here probably it needs yeah we got some probably we may have to make this into in fact I think I'll do it straight away while I'm thinking about it let's come here um, but here we go actually you go that way that off. Put you there. Put you about there. And there. And then you can just run, do your own thing. Just for there and the signal there and the signal there we can come back to there is that train there we are and what i want to do is come in here and 
It's going to clone you. I'm going to get two trains on that line. Now, if I created the line, no. I need to put a line here. I'm going to run you all the way through to here. Train cargo. Um, OVs. Materials. So I can spot the difference between the two. And what we're going to do now is yeah, line from. Again, we're just going to go with the mogul cargo. What do we want to shift? Wait, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five. I think 72 would be quite good enough for the moment. I mean, we can extend and change that later on. Right, but felt that wrong anyway, but never mind. So we've now got that running there. We, we may have to break this link eventually and put a proper train depot on this line because it's possible this line could start to affect this line, even though technically they're separate. So the next thing I want to do is work on South End on C here because I want this to start growing. So the first thing we're going to do is put in some pick these roads up and like that. And click you through there. And maybe through from there. Let's have a quick look at right, the machines are on the right side, so I want to give a little bit of space for things to grow. So if we come out like that come across like that and then what we can do is um, when we've got pole gate over here that may want materials but that's a long way out but I suppose we could I think what we'll do is we'll run a with two a double terminal in here like this, so much coverage we got. I think that to get us started, and maybe we'll just queue that way a bit. And then what we can do is when the line comes in here, we can branch the line round South End on C. Yeah. And just going to push you out that way. Crossover in like that let's get back to this station I think to start with got a reasonably straight line at for we're gonna have to go straight through this mountain ah, it's nearly a million quid I think we can afford to down onto an embankment here and then just run virtually dead straight at that line there got that there I merge this into one line. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a second track on here. Probably going to need it eventually anyway, so there's no point worrying about it. And that means we can run this track directly into there like that and put the crossover in about there. Now got this running through between these two stations. And again, this should be a relatively easy line up and they come 
from here. Train cargo south end materials. But what we're going to have to do is put a, a little bit of a link in here so that I can put, put the train on. So you're going to have to come off here like that and then oops. Play awkward with me game and then we're just gonna run you up into here now oh, now that so that will allow the train to be got onto this line here and got the line built so and we've just got the steam train so with that cargo and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. I think 60 would be enough to get started. Where is it? Self end materials. So, we're, we're, so the materials are starting to flow. This is doing quite well. Have we got anything out to here yet? This line running through here. It's definitely in range. So what train is this? This is the train that's going to run down to. You've got absolutely nothing on here at the moment. See how many you pick up. And we've got we've got ninety here. Seventy-two. I'm just going to follow this line up, so speed up a little bit, and away we go. And through the tunnel, through the trees. Also, I do really like the open cabs with these trains. the spoke when we're holding 64 63 which is pretty good obviously the auto saves just gone in sixty-eight seventy and we're heading straight for that tunnel is just get a bit of height so that we don't fly through the mountain I'm just interested to see how much this is actually gonna make us I mean, I'm quite happy for this line to run at a loss if it makes uh, both a uh, build up a little bit. Look at that. So. that wasn't too bad. And we've got goods here. I think we're going to extend this straight away so that we can make sure that we get a delivery here that we don't lose anything. That should get that flowing. I'll make sure that is in that's in range. When you guys started to pick up any yeah, we've got one materials coming in here, so it's starting to pick up a little bit now. Let's have a quick look at the lines. See how much money we are actually losing. Wow. When it goes to say that self end materials is losing money on on all livestock, Normanton, Gaulish, wow. And of course these are all the tram lines I actually put in quite recently. 
Uh, we'll just let that settle down now. Okay. Yeah, the the iron ore line is not really keeping up, is it? Okay. okay we'll, I think what we're going to have to do is in here. I got signals there, signals there, and we got signals there. So. If I put a signal in the center here, and I think what we'll do is I just how much are you deliver in the shop? 156. I don't know if that might make any money. I think it's just the difference is that this train is got the shorter distance, so it's pumping in the. I think I'm not going to put another train on the ore line just at the moment. Just to see, well, I just want to see how that settles down first. And we've got ore machines here. Um, are you actually carrying anything yet? Yeah, you, you, I mean, he's picked up a reasonable amount. I mean, South End's getting a little bit of delivery now. I and mean, eventually I want to put a passenger line in here. There's one thing I do want to look at is up here because one thing I did try off camera is I tried to extend this small port and what actually happened is the game actually crashed it got a little bit upset about the extension so I think just to finish this video off it's something I've been thinking about for a little while I'm gonna put in another port alongside this one and hopefully this will work because we do have a access to larger ships now. So we're going to put you around like that. I want to keep it pretty close so that we can hopefully connect this up like that. And what that should do, yep, yeah, that connects to both. And then we're going to do the same down here. Like that. Then we're going to create a another new line here for ships from there to there and he's sailing right through the port ship can't spell ship um smevic smevwick grain large And what I want to do is get a couple of I want to get a couple of these running now because see that these actually carry 110 compared to 100 here but more importantly they, they got we can get these working a little bit better and I'm just going to assign you to and what I'll probably do is start moving more goods along this river section we got various items here like for example we got potential here for a goods production so we got some iron um some coal and some iron over here i'm not sure where the nearest steel mill is though i think that's so we got three sets of coal here one iron there and i think we could probably bring iron along the river from here to here. Just want to, yeah, we got an iron mill up there, but it's a little bit out of the way. But we do have an iron mill down here, so we could run a train down here, or probably more, or what way? The alternative is we could come this way, make this into a goods production area, because we've got two goods areas there, and we, I'm sure we got a steel mill here somewhere. Got a machine center there. Got iron and coal. Anyway, that's something to look at in the next video. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we will look at building a goods production center to complement the materials here. And once that's built, we will then push the date forward to 1920 and see what happens. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.